that's how Bo Brady drank his beer in days of our lives. Drink a long neck. And I'm not sure which side he'd have taken when he heard, hears about or heard about September 1st Texas enacting an anti-abortion law, you know. I mean, after all, you'd think he was a hoodlum. He'd want abortions in the beginning when he was drinking his beer like this and hitting on Hope. Whatever her name is. And uh, he was a motorcycle rider, long hair, and carried his beard, <coughs> all that. He was the bad boy. Then he disappeared for a while and he came back and he was a cop. So, as a bad boy, he would support abortion. You know, who would want their asshole kid running around and fucking polluting the world? If that happens, there's going to be no freedom for an asshole like him to just cruise around in a small percentage of people who are polluting the world. It's not enough to catch any notice. But then he comes back as a cop somehow. Well, that means he can share another opinion of himself that people hadn't seen before. Getting rid of abortion. He's a jackass, he wouldn't want these kids running around. He's a cop, he wants to tell people what to do. So, who knows? Made a joke once after saying, fuck Texas. And I think about that now. I always say, fuck Texas. And, you know, people can say, well, not everybody in Texas is not all of Texas is like that. You know, there are some, some small parts that are nice and try and support that. And, well, I, I if you say that, even though you're living in that state and allowing it to happen, then you have suddenly forgiven uh, Iran, Iraq, uh, Iraq, Iran, uh, you know, China, uh, all these people that we call uh, evil, you know. Oh, look what they do, evil. I've met people from every one of these countries. There are decent people there. So if you're going to say it's okay with Texas, then you have to say it's okay with Iran, Iraq, and China, whoever it is you think is doing this wrong. Because you know there are decent people. I have said, you know, it's not uh, the people, it's the governments that are assholes. And the governments keep us turned against these people with the news they gave us. It's like I didn't even know that this Obama guy had presented his birth certificate till I was reading about it the other day. And because afterwards, uh, that poor guy started saying again and again, like two months later, they let it die. And then about two months later or something, I don't know if that's right, started, but they did let it die and bring it back up. Started saying he wasn't born here. I want to see his birth. We haven't seen it. We haven't seen his birth certificate, anything like that. And it's like, because I never paid attention to anything like that back then, you know, I got enough news from the funny pages that, you know, Whatever you need is going to be made fun of in Beetle Bailey. But now there's so much information coming at us, you really can't avoid it. And so suddenly you have to become a little more educated. And I look back and I realize when I read this in the Cohen book, uh, I realized I don't remember him ever offering up the birth certificate. I don't remember it being settled. 
I do remember it getting quiet for a while and then suddenly it started being talked about again. Uh, so what that amounts to is that if we aren't paying attention, we're just catching little blips of it, little blips. And 10, 15 years down the road, you've forgotten the little truths that were there. All you have is what they, what was going on around you at the time and you believe that shit. So it's that easy to screw us up entirely. You take away abortion and you take away people's rights and it, they deputized everybody in the state. Hey, you put that. And you know, I have to believe um, if any people in Texas, if there's anybody in Texas, and I have to say I enjoyed the movie Dirty Dancing, but I won't watch it again. If there's anybody in Texas that enjoys the movie Dirty Dancing, it it's not about Jennifer Grey. It's not about Patrick Swayze. It's more about that girl that was another girl in the show that uh, they're watching it just because all the abortion clinics just shut down last week. And they like the part where the girl has to go in an alley and get a fucking hanger shoved up and or that's what they like. You know what? I, fucking whoever produced the movie Dirty Dancing should send every cent back that was made off of those people in the theater back to them because uh, yeah, I don't want your kind of support, you know? And this, I just say, fuck taxes. I do. I made the joke, like, I don't know, I'm gonna lose a lot of listeners doing this, saying something like that. Nobody's watching anyway. And really, I wouldn't fucking care anyway, I'm pretty sure. Times may change. But would I even want those kind of people fucking watching. Would I want them listening and hearing the things I have to say? All it can do is make them smarter. And that's saying something because I, I'm probably not the smartest guy in the world. And, and if I can make them smarter, they're dumb, dumb, dumb. And they can't even see how stupid. They're so stupid they can't see how stupid they are. And if they were to get a little bit smarter, they'd be like that thing, you know, if he had half a brain, he'd be dangerous. I mean, they've got the fucking, the United States suing them. They're taking them to court and all this shit. No, no, it's just wild. So you could say at risk of losing listeners and subscribers from the state of Texas, it's not a risk. It's not like there's anything to fucking lose to begin with. Fuck Texas.